So, in this latest video on the ultrasonic cleaner, we're going to tackle rust and we're going to be using vinegar. So it is full of vinegar that has just come up to temperature, it's at 50 degrees C. Now, the donor for these parts, these rusty parts, is a Mammoth SR1 steamroller, which I'm currently restoring. There's some really rusty crankshaft and axles and uh, <laughs> the firebox, obviously. Now, I can't do all of this at once because this doesn't really, there's only, is a very small capacity when it comes to the amount it can take. But we can do all of that. There's a couple of parts already in there and we can do that one in probably three passes. So we're gonna work on this first. You may have noticed that I now finally have a basket in my old side cleaner. Various people commented that I should have a basket to protect it. And I went online, did a bit of research, and I found a company that made a basket to fit the 1.3 litre size cleaners. So I bought one and it's in there and it fits perfectly. So we've now got a basket in there. So hopefully that will please anyone who, are a little, who was a little bit concerned about not having a basket. So we'll pop these things in. And we'll set the timer. We'll give it 15 minutes to start with. And off we go. So this will be interesting for me because obviously I've not used vinegar in the ultrasonic cleaner before. So, um, but I've had great results with it. Just, just generally just soaking stuff in, in vinegar overnight for de-rusting purposes. But obviously, hopefully with the aid of the ultrasonics, uh, it should speed up the whole process. So uh, I'll bring you back in uh, in 14 or so minutes. Well, we're coming up on time, less than a minute to go now. For those of you who want to know what it is I use, I use Sars Sarsen's Distilled Malt Vinegar. And there's a very highly technical reason why I use Sarsen's Malt Vinegar. I'm not getting sponsored, I have to buy it just the same way as you guys do, but Many years ago, when I used to eat such healthy foods as chips, I always preferred Sarsen's vinegar on my chips to any other manufacturer. So, there you go. Plus, they've been making the stuff for over 220 years, so I'm fairly certain they know what they're doing. Right, 20 seconds down. I'm not expecting too much, to be honest with you. They've only been in there 15 minutes, you know, and uh, you know, I need an overnight soak in vinegar to, to, to really do any work without the ultrasonic cleaner so we'll see you know i'm keeping an open mind and there we go right let's have a look well it's quite mucky there's quite a bit of debris in there so let's see if we can get a close-up of that Considering that that fluid was like crystal clear when it went, when it all went in, so let's pull out the front axle to start with. Yeah, well, it's 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 still got some rust on it, but it's it's definitely cleaner. And certainly round here, where it where this stem is welded to the to the plate, that was all rusty, and that's um that's certainly cleaned up all right. So we're going to put them back in on it. Um, that was the that's the rear axle that one, which um. You know, as, as, again, the rust has gone. Um, I would imagine that carbon deposit will probably come off if I brushed it. So we'll, we'll do that in a minute, but I want to just see what they look like without touching them with anything other than my fingers. Well, look at that. I mean, that's actually bloody good. That was crudded, crudded up with rust when it went in and it's still got a little bit on it, but I mean, that's only 15 minutes. I mean, that's pretty damn good, really. So now what else is there? We've got the, the crankshaft. The crankshaft was the worst one of the lot for, for, for out of the axles for rust. And again, it's still got a little bit on it, but it's definitely cleaner than it was, you know, <laughs> when it went in. And also let's whick this out here. This is the, uh, uh, okay. right. So what we've got here is this is the um, filler level plug, or sorry, the level plug, I should say, and the uh, the level plug and the the, pit, the the piston and the conrod. Now the conrod was quite badly rusted, so um, yeah, that's that again is a lot cleaner than it was when it went in. Okay, right, I'm going to stop the camera there and bring it back out a little bit, um, and then I'll give them a brush using the famous toothbrush, 
and uh, we'll see what they look like after that. Right, well I've given a brush off with the toothbrush and I have to say I am quite impressed for just 15 minutes. You know, th there was a considerable amount of rust on that Conrod and most of that is now gone as it has with these. Obviously the rear axle on the SR1 roller is in the firebox. So, you know, it is gonna get burnt on crud, but just with a toothbrush, which is very, mildly abrasive to say to say the least really it's already taken quite a bit of that off so you know what i'm going to do with these is i'm going to stick them back in i'll probably put it on for half an hour next time and um and see how see see how it, th th they come out um it's taken some of the paint off on here as well which is good because i'm going to repaint this obviously but um yeah we'll stick it back in for a, i think i'll give it another half an hour and see what happens after that Right, so they've been in for a total of 45 minutes. And this time when they came out, I used well, what's left of this <laughs> brass wire brush and gave them a very gentle brush over. I didn't go mad or anything. And um, I think you can see the results are pretty impressive, really. Let's uh, come in on that. So there you go. I'm, I am super impressed with this. Uh, to get this result just from soaking them in vinegar you'd need to leave them overnight preferably 24 hours uh, and we've done this in 45 minutes you know i mean it's pretty amazing really you consider what this rear axle was like black and crudded in rust and again the you know the crankshaft you know they've all cleaned up really really well uh, you know, I, I mean, I will go over them obviously with a wire brush to finish the job off. Um, but yes, I, I'm well impressed with that. And the second time around, uh, 30 minutes, it's taken off most of the paint as well on this uh, front fork, which is fantastic. So yes, very impressed. And I'm quite pleased that I decided to try the white vinegar. And uh, obviously that works very well on rusty parts. So <clears throat> we're um, gonna stick the, uh, firebox in next and have a go at that but um i think that'll do it for now it's proved the concept vinegar works really really well on uh, rusty steel certainly um so um yeah i'm pleased about that so we can you know I'm, uh, this is proven really useful because i can use it horribly and i can use it on on that on brass just do general cleaning uh, just ordinary water with a, uh, a small amount of detergent and then for the rusty stuff vinegar works fine Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, thanks, as always, for watching. Cheers.